In the infinite expanse of the universe, with its countless galaxies and even more numerous stars, the question, are we alone, echoes louder with each passing year. It's a query that straddles the line between science fiction and scientific inquiry, compelling not just astronomers, but every curious soul to look up at the night sky and wonder. Imagine on a clear night, each star potentially hosting planets, and on any one of those planets, a civilization looking right back at us. This possibility has driven human curiosity to the edges of the cosmos, yet despite our best efforts, the question remains unanswered. Are we truly alone? The sheer size of our universe is almost beyond comprehension. With over two trillion galaxies, each home to billions of stars, the scales are tipped favorably towards the existence of other life forms. When you consider the observable universe alone, the number of Earth-like planets could be in the billions. These staggering statistics lead many astronomers to conclude that it's a matter of when, not if, we will find alien life. The Drake Equation, although speculative, has been used to estimate the number of communicative civilizations in our galaxy, further suggesting that we are not alone. However, understanding this probability also underscores the vastness we must explore, a daunting task given our current technological limits. The universe is not only vast in space but also in time, with signals from potential civilizations taking thousands if not millions of years to reach us. What do we mean when we talk about life? On Earth, life is carbon-based and requires water, but in the cosmic arena, these criteria might not apply universally. Silicon-based life forms, beings existing in extreme environments, or even entirely different biological frameworks are possibilities that scientists consider. Intelligence, too, varies widely. What we consider intelligent behavior, such as using tools or communication, might be completely different in alien contexts. This broadens our search parameters but also complicates them, as we might not readily recognize an intelligent signal if it's based on a form of intelligence that is foreign to us. Thus, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, a SETI, isn't just about finding signals, it's about understanding what forms life might take and how these forms might communicate. The discovery of exoplanets has accelerated over the past decades thanks to missions like Kepler and TESS. These missions have identified thousands of planets outside our solar system, some of which lie in the habitable zone of their stars. In the quest for extraterrestrial life, scientists look for two main types of signatures, biosignatures and technosignatures. Biosignatures are indicators of past or present life that could range from microbial life to more complex organisms, based on the composition of a planet's atmosphere or surface. Technosignatures, on the other hand, are evidence of advanced technology that might be produced by intelligent civilizations. These could include radio signals, as famously sought by SETI, or even megastructures orbiting distant stars, such as the proposed Dyson spheres. The detection of either type of signature would be groundbreaking, providing the first direct evidence of life beyond Earth and reshaping our understanding of our place in the universe. Since its inception in the 1960s, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI, has utilized large radio telescopes to listen for signals from distant civilizations. Despite years of listening and numerous false alarms, SETI has yet to capture a definitive signal from extraterrestrial intelligence. This absence of contact has led to the formulation of the Fermi Paradox, which poses a compelling question. If the universe is teeming with life, why haven't we found it yet? Several hypotheses have been proposed, ranging from the rarity of intelligent life to the possibility that civilizations self-destruct before they can expand into space. Whatever the reason, the silence from the cosmos remains one of the biggest mysteries in science, spurring continued debate and research in the field. 
In recent years, unexplained aerial phenomena, or UAP, and unidentified flying objects, or UFOs, have gained serious attention, even from governmental bodies. However, to date, investigations into these phenomena have not provided any evidence linking them to extraterrestrial origins. While these occurrences are fascinating and merit scientific investigation, it is critical to approach them with a rigorous scientific method. Most UAPs may eventually be explained through natural or man-made processes that do not involve alien technology. The scientific community remains open to new evidence, but as of now, UAPs do not provide the proof of extraterrestrial life that some may hope for. Astrobiology, the study of life in the universe, plays a critical role in guiding the future of space exploration. As we plan missions to Mars, Europa, and beyond, astrobiology helps determine the most promising sites for finding life. Future missions like Mars Sample Return, Europa Clipper, and the James Webb Space Telescope are designed to search for signs of life, past or present. These missions are not only about finding life, but also about understanding the conditions that support life, which could be crucial for humanity's future in space. The next decade could be transformative, with potential discoveries that could finally answer the age-old question of whether we are alone in the universe. The discovery of extraterrestrial life, especially intelligent life, would have profound implications for humanity. Philosophically, it would challenge our understanding of our uniqueness and place in the universe. It could also offer new perspectives on existential questions that have puzzled humans for millennia. Ethically, we must consider how to approach contact with an intelligent civilization. The principles of non-interference and respect for other life forms must be debated and established to avoid the potential for harm, both for humanity and for any alien beings we might encounter. These discussions are crucial in preparing for a future where we are not the only intelligent beings in the cosmos. The confirmation of alien life would undoubtedly have a dramatic impact on nearly every aspect of human culture. Religiously, socially, and philosophically, our worldviews would be challenged and perhaps irrevocably changed. Governments and societies would need to consider the implications of such a discovery, from updating educational curriculums to managing public reaction. The potential for either unity or upheaval is significant, making the preparation for such an eventuality as important as the search itself. Despite advances in technology, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence faces significant challenges. The vast distances of space make communication and exploration difficult. Signals from Earth would take years to reach even the closest star systems, and vice versa. Additionally, our interpretation of data is limited by our current understanding of life and intelligence. What we may perceive as mere noise could be a message, and vice versa. Expanding our technological capabilities and theoretical frameworks is essential for advancing this field. As we continue to scan the cosmos for signs of life, the journey is as significant as the destination. The search for alien life teaches us about the universe and ourselves, pushing the boundaries of technology, philosophy, and science. We may not have the answers yet, but the quest for knowledge continues. Each new discovery brings us closer to understanding whether we are, indeed, alone in the universe. It's a journey worth taking, for it reminds us of our shared curiosity and the unending quest for connection in the vast, beautiful cosmos. The night sky holds an eternal question, one that we continue to explore with hope and relentless curiosity. The answers are out there, waiting to be discovered in the silent music of the spheres.